What's going on guys? Radio Graffiti here. And today I want to talk to you guys about the new TV show from Amazon. Set in the boys universe. Gen V. I watched it every single week and I have thoughts. Originally when the show was announced I thought, oh no, the boys are starting to become what they've been making fun of the whole time. And now they're making spinoffs. Oh boy, here we go. You know, that was going to be dog shit. And surprisingly, the show was actually pretty good. Start off a little slow, we get some episodes where the plot doesn't move all that much, but we get a lot of character moments, so it makes up for it. I think the show is really solid, actually. It's a fitting spinoff for the boys. It sets up what seems like a lot for the boys, season four, so it feels like if you're a fan of the boys, you've got to check out the show or you're probably going to be lost. But yet, it also sets up tons of interesting ideas for Gen V season two. I'll mostly be discussing the finale, because that's where all the shit goes down. Um, it was a little weird how Sam and Kate just out of nowhere just turned fully super villain evil. Even though throughout the entire show they've been more of a, you know, the gray area. Kate has been more of, in my opinion, she's always felt more of a, you know, oh, I've done bad things. But, you know, they kind of tricked me into doing it and I feel sorry for it. I want to do good now. And then we get to the finale and she's like, oh, no, I'm evil. I'm going to set all these people loose. I'm going to have them kill innocent humans and I'm going to fucking turn against my friends and try to kill them too. It's just like, whoa, where did this Kate come from? This is like a completely different character, in my opinion. Like, yeah, she's done bad shit, but they've always tried to make it seem like, oh, you know, she just didn't know how to control her powers, and she's been manipulated her entire life into doing what other people want her to do. And then we get to the finale, and she's just a super villain. So that was pretty weird, in my opinion. And also Sam. I mean, he's a little crazy, so I can kind of see it coming from him, I guess. But still, it's just like he turns against his friends... And the woman he's been close with the entire season just because, you know, oh, it's the finale and we need shit to pop off. Like, what else is my character going to do? I'm too strong to be on the opposite side. So, I don't know. It seems like they just kind of do whatever they want to when it gets to the finale. But they nerf certain characters like, oh, now suddenly Jordan's not strong enough to go against Golden Boy's brother, Sam. Even though she took on Golden Boy basically by herself. Okay, whatever. Let's just nerf whoever we want to now. And Andre, suddenly he's all like, oh, using my powers. Oh, it kind of hurts me now. Since when? You know, this dude should be like Magneto level strong. He has the same powers as Magneto basically, right? Because why the fuck is he not murdering shit left and right when it comes to the finale? You know, this guy should be powerful as fuck. The only thing we ever see him do with his powers in this finale is he gets some kind of taser stick and electrocutes Sam. That's pretty much all he does with his powers in this entire finale. Oh, and he stops a plane. Woohoo? I don't know. It just seems like he's kind of a disappointment. He has pretty much the same powers as Magneto. He can control metal, but yet he never does anything cool with that in this entire season. Not just the finale, but just the season in general. He does nothing cool with his powers, in my opinion. Which is kind of a disappointment because the boys is known for taking powers that you've seen before and then doing something you wouldn't expect. Doing something negative. Like, you've seen... Ant-Man shrink before, but have you seen a girl shrink before and then climb on a guy's dick? You know, that's kind of the thing the boys does. They take powers you're familiar with and then turn, make a dark twist on them. They do something shocking with their powers. But, eh, whatever. And then Marie, she doesn't seem like she has such cool powers, but then when we get to the end of this, the season, it seems like she suddenly levels up out of nowhere. Like in the finale, she's able to... Like in the finale, she uh, stops that suit from killing Ashley and all her little... Crazy friends. But yeah, and Homelander shows up, which was kind of spoiled for me a couple days ago before the finale aired. Apparently, leaks came out back in December of Homelander filming on set. Well, you know, Anthony Starr. This leaked back in like December 2022, so that was a little disappointing. I kind of already expected him to show up in the finale, but it was still awesome to see him regardless. And yes, it is pretty hype that he shows up, but his cameo was kind of weird. He shows up and then for some reason he says, it's like he knows what's going on, but it's like, how the fuck does he know and why the fuck does he care? I don't know how, why he showed up here. I guess maybe Ashley called him or something. I don't know exactly how he knew to come here. I couldn't tell you, honestly. So he shows up and he's all like, you know, what kind of animal are you? And he's like, back up. And he's like, who is he talking to? Back up. What? And then he lasers Marie and then it cuts to the black. It's very weird, in my opinion. Very weird. It's like, what? What did I even just see? It was just kind of a weird editing choice, if you ask me. Because I'm not really sure what the fuck I just seen. And then Marie and Andre, Jordan, and 
uh, the other girl, I can't remember her name right now, but they all wake up in some weird area, they're like, where are we? And Andre's like, dude, you took uh, Homelander's lasers like a champ. And I'm like, wait a minute, weren't you knocked out? How the fuck do you know she took him like a champ? Weren't you knocked out from Sam and you fighting? Did, how did you even know Homelander was there? Jordan should know, because Jordan's seen it. And then Sam's girlfriend, I can't think of her name right now. Sam's girlfriend's seen it. Andre, he was knocked out, wasn't he? So I don't know how he knows that, but whatever. And I'm like, how can she take Homelander's lasers? I guess he can adjust his level, but it's like, I guess he just wanted to knock her out. I don't know. It's kind of weird, though. It makes it seem like they're trying to nerf Homelander or something. Because throughout the entire series of the boys, we see Homelander use his laser vision and he cuts people straight in half. And Marie's powers are only with blood, so it would make no sense how she could take on the full blast of Homelander's lasers. Jordan, maybe. Jordan, sure. Because you got, like, super durability or whatever, so it would be hard to kill her. I could see that. But Marie, her only powers are controlling people's blood. And her own blood. And just blood in general. It was pretty badass, though, when she popped Kate's arm. That was a really badass visual. And it makes you wonder where they're going to go with her character in Season 2. Because now she only has one hand. I'm curious to see if she also pops up in The Boys Season 4. I believe that's where they're going with this. Because they say Homelander basically took Sam and Kate. And then are trying to get them on The 7, I guess? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see where they go with that. And how much of the show is going to bleed over into The Boys Season 4. So I assume that they don't want to make it too much like Gen V Season 2. Because they still want to address things in Gen V Season 2, but they also don't want to leave off too much because a lot of this show is supposed to affect what happens in The Boys Season 4, so that's going to be a little tricky. We'll see what they do in The Boys Season 4, but now I'm more hyped for that than ever. And also we get to see Butcher at the end of the show, in the post credits, I guess you'd call it. That was pretty badass. I really like how the show has tons of characters who pop up from The Boys Universe. Like in the previous episode, we've seen Victoria Newman. And it all feels natural. It doesn't feel like they're just popping up just to be like, oh, hey, I'm here too, to kind of give validation to Gen V. It actually feels like they have a reason to be there. It makes sense for the story. And people who haven't watched The Boys probably won't know what's going on, but they kind of give a good introduction to them for people who don't know. But also us people who have seen The Boys already know, oh, shit, you don't want to fuck with that bitch. So, yeah, I really enjoyed watching Gen V every week. It was a great show, very shocking, very disturbing at certain points. As it should be. It's got very much the same exact tone as The Boys. Feels basically like a reskinned version of The Boys to a certain extent, but I guess it's okay. We'll just, I'm hyped for season four of The Boys now. Can't wait for that to come out. Hopefully we can get some kind of a preview for that soon. I don't know when it's supposed to release. I assume next year, but I don't really know. But yeah, have you guys had a chance to see Gen V? And if so, what did you think about it? I've seen some people say that Gen V is better than The Boys. Um, I don't agree with that, and I think it's way too soon to even judge that. You're comparing three seasons of a TV show to one season of one that just came out. <clears throat> I think a lot of people who say Gen V is better than The Boys are people just on the hype train, you know. Obviously, the roller coaster you just got off, you're going to say is the best roller coaster ever. So just give it time, let it marinate, and then, and then say that. But for now, I feel like The Boys is still the superior show, but we will see. And give it time. I'm also interested to see what they do with Marie's sister in season two. Is she going to be a good guy? Is she going to be a bad guy? What do you guys think? What are they going to do with Marie's sister? I'm interested to see where that story plays out. But yes, that's my thoughts on Gen V Season 1. Great start to a show. Solid first season. Can't wait to see where they go with Season 2.